Hi everybody, it's Corey Summers. Today on Financial Friday, we are going to be discussing how to get out of debt with Denise Berry of Elite Financial. You don't want to miss this one. Hi everyone, this is Denise Berry with Elite Empire Financial. And today we're going to be learning about some basic financial concepts. I want to thank Corey so much for having me on her show. So, so far we have learned about what? The rule of 72, how to recover from loss, and a lot of those other kinds of things. So hopefully you guys have gotten a lot of value, but today we're gonna to be talking about a very prominent subject, and that's how to get out of debt. What is debt and how to actually recover from it? So right now the statistic is actually really high, and I can't actually, don't quote me on it, but essentially over 90% of people are actually suffering from some kind of debt. Whether it's a credit card where you're spending $1,000 on a trip somewhere, or getting out of those student loans, Everyone's were trying to recover from some kind of debt. It's just kind of the American way, right? So let's talk about the two different types of debt. For student loans, specifically, we're chained to that debt forever. Why? Because it's a secured loan. You're essentially putting your good name, your social security number on a loan where you can't get out of it. We do have loan forgiveness programs through the government, but you have to be making under a certain amount of money and be in financial distress. Now let's talk about unsecured loans and unsecured credit cards. These are things that you haven't necessarily signed your life away to, and they're charging usually a pretty high interest rate. Credit cards range from anywhere from like 19 all the way up to, unfortunately, over 100% depending on where you're getting your loan or your credit card from. Those payday loans will really get you. So now that we know the two different types, now let's talk about how to get out of debt. So let's just say that you have some debt inside of your account, right? I would recommend that the number one way to get out of debt is to take control of your debt. And the number one way for that is the snowball effect. So what does that mean? If we have multiple credit cards or just one, this actually usually works with multiple credit cards or multiple loans, right? We wanna pay on the highest interest rate first, whatever one has the highest interest rate. So we put the highest amount of money we could possibly put on that first account with the highest interest rate and we pay that down in full. The rest, all at the minimum payment. Then after we've paid that off, woohoo, congratulations to you. Now you move on to the next one, the next highest interest rate. You took all that money you were putting into the first one and move it to the second one, including that minimum amount, right? You see that's how it's building on itself. Now you pay that off. Now it's compounding quickly to pay your debt off. That's what's recommended. But for this, you're gonna need to have a lot of accountability. So you're gonna to need to get with someone that's a friend, someone that's actually gonna hold you accountable, or heck, you can actually reach out to Corey and she'll hold your hand through that process as well, okay? Next, there's debt settlement. Once again, I don't necessarily recommend these things, but if you are in some, in some kind of financial difficulty and you don't have a lot of money to save at the end of the month, this could be for you. So debt settlement, okay. So essentially, what you end up doing is you end up defaulting on all of your debt. Not fun, right? And you have the company, a company like Debt America, that comes in and they advocate on your behalf to settle all of your debt one at a time. You pay into a trust account and then they advocate with that money to pay off every single one of your debts. The pro to that is at the end you're completely debt free. Great, right? And someone's helping you to get there. The con is that during that process your credit score is gonna go really down, right? But it's not like bankruptcy and you can actually have it taken off of your credit report. You can actually file and put letters in to have it taken off for all of those different things. Okay, so that's debt settlement. Next, we can move on to debt consolidation. What is debt consolidation? It's just like what it sounds like. All of your debt is put into one place. So the pro on that is you get a lower interest rate. That's great, right? But your debt is not lowered at all. You still have the same amount of debt. You're just paying at a lower interest rate. You see? So that's good and it's bad at the same time. And then lastly, heaven forbid, you're in a position where you went through a divorce, you incurred a lot of debt because of a medical issue, and you have to file bankruptcy. That's something I haven't seen personally in a very long time, but if that's needed, we can also help you through that entire process. So hopefully you guys learned a lot more about debt and how to get out, you know, out of that debt. Feel free to reach out to Corey. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thanks for tuning in this Friday to our Financial Friday segment with Denise Berry. If you have any thoughts, um, 
please place your comment below. You can schedule a free consultation with Denise to go over your finances and financial health and see where there might be holes in your retirement and get all of that shored up. Also, please leave a comment below and let us know what topics you'd like to hear about. I'm, we're doing this together for you as a service for you to help you get um, better educated and really just help grow your overall financial health and financial future. That said, I want to thank you again for tuning in. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe below. Be sure to click the bell. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. See you guys next time.